Mm, what's up, black women? I had to just come mention this. Now, now I know why the Young Turks singled out Shira Seven, right? I had no idea that Shira Seven had like 524,000 subscribers and she was getting like 65,000 views and shit like that, right? Okay. She's being targeted. I think you guys are never going to want to accept that you're going to really have to change black women if you want these white people in this society to stop controlling your poverty and keeping you stuck in it. She has more followers than Cynthia G. But because her content is not the same, right? They can't come at her directly like that. So you see how they did that that bullshit story on her the other day trying to make it seem like she was just doing something so god awful in regards to telling women that they should date and have some some worth and some value to themselves and don't have sex for free don't give these guys their time for free and now these white people are trying to equate it to gold digging and all this other crazy stuff that has nothing to do with the fact that black women like every other woman is a person and a woman who has the right to be wined and dined and shown a level of appreciation for her time and especially her body if you're trying to be jumping up and down on her sexually right but here's the thing they gonna start coming after that Shira seven lady because you already see the writing on the wall. And if she was smart, she would start changing up her message to the point where it's short and sweet. Watch her words and just start telling black women to start digging into their own value. Move away from the relationship shit and start talking into building up black women's value. Because what's going to happen is they're going to try to put her in a catch bag of hate speech and shit too. Because these guys don't want to pay money to have relationships with black women. All these dudes, not, not all these dudes, these black males and now these white guys feel like they're entitled to black women's bodies because we're supposed to be for their use and their, I guess, fuckery, right? But watch and see. Now that they targeted her, they spotlighted her. What what are, what are y'all what's gonna happen? What are we waiting to see? Uh, another white woman come around with a news article and complain about how she's breaking some form of the hate speech rules and the guidelines of YouTube, and then next thing you know, she's gone. I told y'all, you never listen to me. I said they watch and wait because you got to understand this is money for white people. This is money for society. They need to keep you black women stupid, dumb, in in struggle love, and in poverty, and always thinking about somebody's dick, and thinking about, oh, who's going to love me? I need to be loved. I'm a woman like everybody else, and I need love too. As long as you keep thinking that dumb shit like that, they're going to forever keep you in poverty and always fucked up because you got to snap out of the bullshit. You don't need love. You don't need a relationship from a man, a black male or anything else. Because I know a lot of y'all are still fucking with these dudes, even though you see black women getting killed every day by black femicide and our children. As a matter of fact, I just saw, saw a very, very fucking disturbing video on unbiased and unbossed channel where this young black girl was only 17 years old this is the shit i was talking about in my last video she got raped by a black male family member her father committed suicide and this child had a psychotic break her mother couldn't handle her she took her what she thought was a teenage psychiatric treatment center where some fucked up doctor, for whatever reason, wanted to examine this little girl 
naked. Now, what what the fuck? What reason do you have to examine a girl in a psychiatric hospital completely naked? What do you, what reason do you have to do that for? That's 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 suspect right there. Then they had two black males. Now, remember, this little girl is traumatized because she was raped as a child by one of her black male relatives which is why she went crazy right plus the loss of her father by suicide so if she was a white girl they would have of course realized that it was too much for her to take right the she said no i'm not taking my clothes off so the this doctor has these orderlies or whatever the hell they are in this place beat this girl body slam her and everything to the point where this little girl died she died she was brain dead because of the beating that she took from the people in the place said it was like more than six males that were on her beating her throwing her, her, her all around laying on top of her body choking her out and all this now mind you think about how horrific this little baby's life was she was raped by a black male family member they didn't say the age so i'm 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 assuming that it was like when she was in her her pre-tween pre what did you call that pre-teen years because they they like fucking with little girls in those years right then i guess it was hard you know it was ain't no guess you know it was definitely hard for her to deal with that every day day in and out especially when it's somebody who's literally related to you that you expect them to trust oh god you expect them to be a person you could trust support you care about you love you not be thinking about how they want to fuck you you understand so then she had to deal with the fact that her father was severely depressed they never said why and he ended up killing himself and this little girl also has that to worry about then they put her i don't know what why the mother didn't think about it this way but then he put her in a facility with a bunch of males who are going to trigger this girl because this is the thing that rapes her right then when she doesn't comply to taking her clothes off do they not understand that that is a trigger because she was violently raped they just don't give a fuck about black women at all. And then you black women are on here promoting relationships, wanting, thirsting after relationships and not being smart enough to understand that you can have all that shit. You just don't have to be on YouTube proclaiming to the world what all your weaknesses are and your strengths. So that these white folks could come on here, learn what it is you're talking about, and set up societal traps for you so you never get out of poverty. You're a human being. You do not need, and you're supposed to have intelligence. You don't need Shira Seven or anybody to tell you that when you're dealing with any type of male, if they don't come out of their pocket to, to do things for you, help you when you need help show their appreciation of you you don't need to be with them in the relationship get the fuck away from them cut cut your losses if somebody's talking to you crazy they they're raising their voice cursing at you talking to you like you ain't shit what are you doing around them and it should never get to the point where they beating your ass because once they start acting stupid the first time you're supposed to get rid of them the first fucking time and then all that other stuff that's going on where y'all are allowing these these motherfuckers to kill your children. Listen. And taking you out as well. Y'all better get your priorities together. You really better. But you're going to see. It's like I told you before. Y'all keep sitting on here trying to find gods to worship. Instead of just spreading yourself among all the youtubers and getting all the information you need when they're positive not this silly relationship shit because all these white folks are going to do is come on here wait till these people get enough standing and then they're going to yank their ass off and leave you leave you vulnerable which is what they want to do build you up to tear you down right because 
I keep telling you, read that dark psychology book. You're not listening. You need to read the book because they're going to build you up to tear you down so that you now are complacent with anything they say because you have been defeated. And that's what they're gunning for. Now, that lady, that woman, she's been on here for a long time talking that relationship silly shit. And the only thing that has been positive that has come out of it is that somehow within all that craziness she's talking, women have found small levels of self-esteem, which have made little ripples of change in this dysfunctional black male, black woman type relationship stupidity out here. And the white people are watching. The white people who, who live and pray and hope that you get together and continue to have babies and live in poverty so that you continue to keep them well fed, well lived, well earned. Because they make money off of your dysfunction, off of your struggling and the fact that you remain in poverty. They make money off of that. So when you guys wake up, become adults and stop needing these dramatic people online who are coming on here with all these gimmicks and all of these tricks to get you to keep showing up to their channel. You're selling yourself out because you don't need them. You know right from wrong. You know good. You know bad. And you should have a moral compass in your body to know that if you have an education, you're able to take care of yourself, have your own money, pay your own bills, Pay for every and anything you want. You're healthy. You should never need another person to feel good about yourself. Or need a relationship with any type of male to feel like now you're a woman. Or now you're somebody you can be proud of. That shows that you have a lot of issues going on with you. And you probably need to sit down with a therapist. But all of that is neither here nor there. Because what's going to happen is that now that they spotlighted her. The same way they did your girl in the past. They're going to come for her now. Because they see that she is the leader now of trying to keep black women from being uh, rushed into these situations of struggle love. Where they end up dead by black femicide and etc. So even though like I said she's giving out a small level of self esteem. Because that stuff she's talking about is really not really not true right. But she has the following to make the white people take notice. And now that they have, they don't want her trying to tell black women to improve themselves, uplift themselves, so that um, they don't get into relationships with these struggle love black dudes and end up getting their asses beat by way of domestic violence and eventually being taken out of this life by black femicide. Y'all remember that um, professor that I had put up the short about how she was talking about how basically without saying it directly that poor black women need to be in these relationships with these dudes that have little to nothing to keep society safe. Remember her talking about that? Well, what do you think the rest of them think? They think the same goddamn thing which is why they get upset when Cynthia G was on here getting the numbers up and pulling the women away from these dudes. And now it's Shira's turn. Now they focus their attention from Cynthia G to her. And now they warned her though. They get they gave her a warning because they gave her a shout out on a news outlet to let her know. We see you. They even let you know that they were on her channel scrolling through her videos because the white chick she went on to talk about a few titles from her her catalog of videos because i went to share his page to see what she was talking about and all she did was make fun of all the videos that literally are ones where it instructs black women to an extent to have standards to not go for the okie doke not to be out here giving their bodies away for to for free to people to realize that these dudes are mostly gaslighting and playing black women just to have somewhere to live, 
have somebody to have sex with and to end up trapping them in some kind of way whether it be by um baby trapping them relationship trapping them she why y'all don't ever see the writing on the wall and all of this is so easy to remedy all you got to do is just start doing it and stop coming online and listening to it just start doing it and where you live grab a hold of all those little girls and all the way with women in your your area and start talking to them all the time about uplifting their integrity their personal integrity building their self-esteem setting standards and just doing away with the fact that they feel like they have some obligation or undying loyalty to these dudes that are these black male dudes that are extremely violent and extremely dangerous and deadly when it comes to black women and girls i mean that's all you got to do to to if you want to win the game that's all you got to do because you know word of mouth travels faster than any type of influence because we could touch people that live next to us and around us and with us much faster than anybody on youtube so if you would just start doing that you would do yourself you would do better for yourself way more than coming online and flocking i keep saying it flocking to content one content creator after another content creator just for the white people to identify who the people are that are uplifting you and giving you something else to think about for them to come right along and start plucking them out as soon as you build them up y'all don't never listen when you keep having just a few people y'all keep running to instead of a whole lot or the majority of the black women that are on here who are positive it makes it easier for them to take them off YouTube. Keep telling you. But you, you won't understand until they finish doing it on your girl. Because now that they have her locked in their sights, they will come after her one way or the other. And you know what the whole goal is. They don't want black women to have money. They don't want black women to be the mouthpiece, mouth, blah, 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 mouthpiece of morality, standards, and self-esteem. So... I I think they're going to come after her, demonetize her channel, and then start messing with her to the point where she'll be gone too. And then everybody will have no choice but to go to Patreon or whatever else it is they do or put together a website to give out the same information that you used to do on YouTube. Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to kill your communication and take away your leaders the same way they did with Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, who were the last black leaders, if you don't know, who actually got some progress and was and was dealing with all types of progression when it came to black people. So now they see that it's not the grassroots movements that are moving the people in masses the way it used to be. Now it's YouTube. And it's certain black women on YouTube because the majority of the women in most black communities are only thinking about dumb shit like fucking somebody being in a relationship with somebody oh this is my man and i got a man and all that dumb shit instead of thinking about making things a priority like education sustaining good employment where you don't have to worry about poverty at all being a good parent so that you keep your children safe from the things that happen to things that happen to and that are like what happened to um this 17 year old girl that was raped by a family member and then suffering all types of functional and and horrible depressions to the point where she's starting to hear voices she's losing her mind slowly and then she has to be put into a psychiatric center where she's beaten to death like wake up it's not hard put the fucking hate to the side Stop hating on every fucking body and realize that you have to protect yourself. If you think that these people are actually doing something for you, come together, put your heads together and think of a way to keep these people on here without allowing them to be so easily attacked by white media and everybody else. Like, come on, y'all. It's so fucking easy. Just take it off of YouTube and take it into real life. 
They ain't what are they going to do? Come to your house? They don't know what the fuck you're doing. They don't know until you show them. But when you on here talking about it, they know every goddamn thing you're doing. Y'all got to stop flocking to just one or two people. That is making it easy for the white folks to come on here and get rid of your leaders. So now, like I said last, yesterday or whatever it was when I did that last video, you need to speak to your girl and let her know you are on their radar. So you better start making other plans to be able to communicate with your masses of women that follow you because they're going to try to fuck with her channel. They're going to try to get rid of her the same way they got rid of Cynthia G. Because I believe that woman has been on here around the same amount of time as Cynthia G. Like almost a decade, okay? So y'all got to start thinking about how this stuff um, correlates with other things. And it's not just that they just happened to come upon her channel and made a comment and was going through her videos as if, you know, they're looking for a way to come after her. That wasn't by accident. That's planned. Because she's been on here a long time. And then you got to ask yourself, what made them want to go to her page in the first place? Do you think about that? You should already know. People are upset because black people are not falling for the fucking okie doke the way that we, well, black women, mostly. Not falling for the same old okie doke we've been doing for years and years and years. You see how people all up in arms about this whole Hamas Israeli shit with the war and whatnot. Excuse me for saying shit. That's just the way I talk. And um, they're mad because Jewish people feel like because a few of them, literally, listen to the words I'm saying, a few of them, all right, stood up and died with us during the civil rights movement, right? That we as black people owe them everything because they stood, they walked and fought with us for, a, you know, a few times. Mind you, they're not taking into consideration that we did all of the work ourselves. Even though we had a couple of people from the outside help us, we did all the heavy lifting. We did all the real dying, right? A couple of them got killed, but it was nothing in comparison to the amount of black people who have constantly, continuously been killed over all of the damn victories we made in this country right then on top of that they look at things like record contracts like whitney houston and that guy that was her manager making it seem like you know they they've done so much for black people no they haven't because in the situation of the relationship with whitney houston and and that man that was managing her was he not making money off of that black woman or was he just giving that money to her out of the charity of his heart i think not right I think he was actually making money off of her, right? So what are they talking about? So as a result of the fact that rightfully now, TikTok is making all of these videos about how the attack on the Palestinian people is messed up, and it definitely is, because these people had actually occupied their land for like more than 75 years. And before, And you know what the crazy part is? They first were going to do it to Rwanda, and somehow Rwanda didn't work out. Then they said, oh, there's another location, Palestine. And then they went there and did that to those people. So they feel like, these, these people feel like black people should be on the side of the Jewish people because of music, a few a small percentage of black people making money and becoming superstars or whatever the case may be. And for a few people who stood for, beside us in civil rights where we did all the work. So now what they're doing as a result is canceling things like um, Kwanzaa and whatever, when people would hold Kwanzaa in their um, Jewish community centers and stuff like that. We don't care. We honestly do not care. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. We as black people understand that you're doing the same thing to the Palestinian people 
that you yourself and all others have done to us, colonized us, oppressed us, suppressed us, exploited us, used us, abused us, killed us. You're doing the same thing. So all of this is going on. So this is why all this is happening. Because this is these white people in society are trying to get you to go back to being stupid people, being asleep, and our real version of woke and not the shit they came up with is bothering them. Because we're no longer just going la 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 and, and through the day and going along with everything they want to happen and go their way. We we actually have an opinion now, taking a stance and actually getting other people to understand that, you know, there's something wrong with this. This needs to stop. And they don't like it. So that's the reason why their asses were on YouTube fucking around in Shira Seven's channel because how do they even know who she is? You know why they came on here to find out who she is? Because thankfully and i want all you black women to continue the separation between black women and black males is growing every day and people are noticing it and they're feeling it in their pockets because the way black women used to spend money when they all wanted to be in struggle love relationships with these bum ass characters that money's not being spent anymore and do not think that these people are not tracking that in society down to the fucking last dime. Because they are. Because all they want to do is use us as a form of a cash cow for any and everything they can. And when they see it drying up somewhere in the system, they send their little feelers out to find out what's going on. What, are, what is distracting black women and not making them the mules of the world the way that we want them to be? Y'all think it's a joke? They're going to keep coming after more of them. And they're probably doing it right now because they don't always publicize what they do. They do things very sneaky. That's what they do. So if I was y'all, I would. if I liked her so much the way y'all do, I would tell her to get an alternative mode of communication with y'all. And y'all start going over there as much as you come over here to YouTube. Somewhere where they won't be able to take her channel down, demonetize it, and all the rest of that stuff. Because that's what they want to do. Because the more black women wake up, they talking about being child free and going to school and single and not caring about being these traditional, so-called traditional women where you want to be somebody's personal slave and servant for the rest of your life, where you need a husband, a house full of children, and to be at his actual, you know, whim and abuse and whatever else he feels like doing to you. And you're just supposed to live through it with a smile on your face and feel like this is your purpose in life when it absolutely is not. You know, they're having a problem with all of that. So this is the way they address our movements that we're making within our own black women collective. And they don't like it. And so they're moving against you. You know how you guys are always talking about, I don't play checkers, I play chess? You need to really start playing that shit with them. Because if you don't think that they're not doing it to you, you're crazy. I told you. They have people, strategists, who they pay big money to sit down, watch our videos, watch what we're doing, figure out what's the next move, this, that, and the other, so they could try to counter it. To get you back into struggle, love, to make sure you stay planted, fixed, flat in poverty. And with all of us trying to crawl out of it, they're getting antsy. And then, and when they get antsy, what do they do? They start eliminating the people that they think are our leaders. So you guys, you better wise up. I keep telling you, they can't get all of us if we're all on the same page. But they can pluck us all off one by one if it's only a few of us doing one doing the same thing. But if it's all of us doing the same thing, it's a wrap. They can't they they won't be able to put a dent in it. It'll be too strong. Black women. You don't need anybody on YouTube to let you know that being in relationships with black males are the wrong thing to do. They don't like you. 
They are killing you every day by black femicide every four to five hours of the day. They are also hurting and killing our children. There are many stories like this 17 year old girl story where she was raped by a black male family member. We know this to be true. We as black women, we live these lives. We know it. We don't need any fake news or any bullshit ass reporter to try to tell us what we already know to be a matter of fact in our own lives. Okay? So just do what you know that needs to be done. Center yourself. Prioritize yourself. Live life for yourself and stop worrying about goddamn relationships and stop giving a fuck all together about what black males do. Move away from them. Stay away from them because they don't mean you any good. They're in cahoots with white supremacists and white supremacy in this country. And their main goal, their mission, is to keep you poor, impoverished, and exploited by all of America. And that's how they found that girl's channel. Because those motherfuckers was flagging it and doing what they do best. Calling her out, writing letters to get her taken off. The same thing they did to Cynthia G. Y'all better wake up and realize. And what are you guys doing? Nothing. Instead of you flagging all of their channels and getting them the fuck out of here... And not going to their channel or patronizing them or viewing their channel and not giving them money to get them out of here. You're just letting things go along as they usually do. You know, because you can't do nothing about it, you think. Wrong. You could do a whole hell of a lot about it. The same wicked shit they're doing to these black women who got these big big platforms who are trying to help black women in whatever way they're doing it. Do the same, attack their shit the same way that they're attacking yours. Because they would never, ever know who Shira Seven was if these black males wasn't serving her up on a platter to these people to come and attack her. I really don't understand why it's so hard for y'all to just love yourself, stay away from these dudes, Understand that any of these dudes that are not willing to do for you on a constant on a constant basis is no good for you. When at you as a woman, you should never be taking care of a man. Never. Never. He's supposed to have a job. He's supposed to have a way to take care of himself, the woman he wants, and the children if or if or whenever he brings them into this world. Period. No other way around it. And if he wants to date you, go out with you, being a, a whatever with you, he has to show a level of appreciation for that. And that, that means money. Spending money, giving money, using money, that's what that means. Because this is real life. This is not a fucking fairy tale. And this is not a, a huge shaming propaganda game where people try to make it seem like black women are special we live in the world off of 10 cents a day where everybody else lives you know in the world off of all of the money they have as lavishly as we as they want but we somehow make it work we're doing that making a dollar out of 15 cent type shit remember no no we're not no no we're not black women man You better start getting them black dudes off of YouTube if you know what's best for you. Get them off YouTube. Shut them down. Shut them down in real life. Keep them out your life. And start making sure they carry and pull their own weight in society. And not you helping them in any goddamn way. You got to think about that shit. How did they even know who the fuck she was? Hmm? They could be on here all day, but they really wouldn't know who she was unless somebody gave them some type of hint. Think about it. Bye.